Chinonso Ude is one of many Nigerians tapping into the gains of the POS retail economy. She's a cash vendor that provides easy access to withdrawals and deposits. Customers are charged for each transaction. And so from not having a job, Chinonso now processes over 150 transactions in a week. It's good. At least it's helping me, me and my family. I used to bring money from it. I help my family. I used to support my husband from this POS business. There's been a massive adoption of POS transactions in Nigeria. Transaction volume rose to more than $10.8 billion between January and July of 2022. That's according to data from Nigeria's Interbank Settlement System, NIBSS. This represents a 29.3% increase from the $8.39 billion recorded in the same period of 2021. One of the major factors that is driving it is the inflation rate. Um, the rise in the price of goods and services on a daily basis makes people to need more money to actually meet up their daily needs. They are spending more for food, they are spending more for petrol, they are spending more for transportation and almost every, every need. Their income is coming you know, in trinkles and uh, that's why you see them withdrawing. Nigeria has been driving its cashless policy and financial inclusion. Experts believe that the swift adoption of electronic payments is favoring the initiative and closing the access gaps associated with traditional banking and other orthodox payment methods. The ATM machines are no longer seeing queues. They don't have so much customers using the ATM. People prefer to go to the POS. The financial inclusion that the CBN is driving is also um, seeing the light of the day because people in the far remote areas, they now have access to using this POS. Nigerian banks have been experiencing service interruptions due to personnel gaps created by the migration of IT professionals. These shaky services have propelled more bank customers to embrace the POS option. Experts project that POS transaction volumes could double within the next year.